And welcome back, guys. So originally, I'm supposed to be coming over here to get the backpack quest for the large backpack so I can carry more stuff. But I'm like, ah, I'm right over here. What could go wrong? I can come over here real quick, get this quest, and everything will be fine. Oh, shit, here we go again. So the problem I have is there's a river in between here that if you dip yourself in the water there, you get 29 rats just for entering the water. So I'm like, all right, I'll follow it all the way up here and maybe I'll find a way around it. Haven't found a way around it. So, uh, I encountered some super mutants. It's uh, not exactly the most friendly neighborhood. I'm gonna ignore the event. It says kill the protesters. I'm gonna completely ignore that. I know that could get me caps, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Hope everyone's enjoying the content. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe button. It helps a lot. Surprisingly. Uh, I have got to find a way to replace my ammo. It's getting bad. I'm low on pistol ammo. Please don't be up. There's some bullshit over there. I'm just gonna close this door and pretend I'm not here. Of course, it's a robot. Computer to be grafted there. Unfortunately, you are a wee bit early for tourist season. But this is your lucky day. Help us get ready for the upcoming flood of eager tourists, and I'll knock the whole five percent off the cost of all attractions. We have four major attractions around here. Wavy Willards, the Clarksburg Shooting Range, Cricket Sport, and the Black Bear Hunting Lodge. Go out there and get each one of them ready. I'll wait here, because I don't have legs, and I can't move! I'm well, sure as hell not doing that. Overseer's Log, Clan, Vault Boy, the mayor of Grafton used to be the automated assistant, and it's gone Bull. completely mad. Stop. Still trying to run the town. Even holds elections for itself. We built these machines to do things without us, and they have. I'd be useful if I played along. Let's go try this event thing.
<laughs> that little level is just sitting there. Ah. All right, wait a minute. No, he's 73. It's like, why is there a level 9 in this spot? <laughs> Probably. I'm not doing any damage. Try to figure out why this is highlighted. Okay, event. okay, so I need to get here. And now you gotta go resupply ammo, because that's. We're getting desperate now to get on ammo. What the fuck is that, Brad Toad? So yeah, this wire is radioactive, and the only way over is this bridge right now that I can see. And, uh. We'll see what happens when I shoot this. Gonna sit there and play dead, I guess. It's like I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't blame him. Ah, I got too much crap on me again. No. Why do I have too much stuff on me? Ow! That hurt. Good job. Come on. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna get away from this shit. goal is to get here, not up there. I'm not opening the wire park. If it's half as bad as this is, it's not going to happen. Great. Don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. You stay over there, possum. I will admit, the character model for the possum is pretty interesting. Um, like I said, some of the character models, like the faces, could have been done better, because you can definitely tell there's pixelization, or... Like, there's a pixelization problem. This is Rotten Spider speaking. Well, broadcasting, actually. Anyway, it seems our beliefs dog woods are suffering. Brings tears to my eyes just thinking about it. More than one, if I had eyes, friends, I personally authorize not doing anything about the proliferation of those beautiful dogwoods. Let's go spread some fertilizer for those poor things. Like I said, there's a lot of things that could have been done better. Check out this camp, maybe there's something good here. Nothing really good. Just some crap. 
Good place to rest, I guess. <sighs> so far? So close, but too far. Okay, I'm trying to remember the saying. <laughs> uh, my goal for Fallout 76 is... Hey, here's something. I don't like it. Uh, my goal is to do the main questing as much as possible, but from what I'm gathering regarding Fallout 76 is you kind of are forced to do side questing to level up and get better gear. You could do main questing, it's just going to be very, very difficult. Uh, I do believe there's a required, you have to be level 20 in order to continue with the Overseer's mission. There's just a lot of grinding levels, farming, uh, PvP, uh, player versus environment. Then you have to worry about players nuking your campsite or, you know, attacking you type thing. It's just... Like I said, I wish they did it... Oh, shit. I wish they did it a different way. When I say I wish they did it a different way, I'm talking specifically about um, one second, let me drop some shit. How do I have 190 weight? I don't get it. It's got to be the boiled water. Oh, cool. Like I said, there are certain things here that could have been done better. As we all know, the first game is always the best, kind of like the first movie. Same thing with games. The first game is usually the best, and then it improves over time, and then eventually it becomes a cancerous mess, kind of like what happened to Halo. Had a great backbone storyline, campaign was awesome, the introduced multiplayer was awesome, and then when it changed studios, when Microsoft bought out Bungie, and Bungie split up as two groups where part of their dev team became 343, and the others went over to make Destiny, when Bungie lost control of Halo, that's when Halo basically died, in my point of view. Because 343 focused, it, focused nothing but on action and less about campaign and dialogue. And, you know, having a good immersion, basically, they just kind of threw the whole focus on campaign out the window, in my point of view. But, that's just me. So close, but yet so far. I need to be like right here. It's gonna be in between the little light house thing, smokestack thing, and that place.
hopefully we can get there in one piece. Uh, I still have to figure out my ammo situation. I'm having a problem with not having enough ammo, basically. See this place being a great place before the nukes fell. Okay, we're looking for a robot supposedly this over here. Anytime the water's brown, you know that's radioactive. You know that's really, really bad. So overweight wait by something, what? Apparently I can't cover carry any of this armor yet. Stop giving me rage. That explains why I'm having carry weight problems. shit. not so young men and women of America. You are hereby assigned the rank of tadpole. This is your official Pioneer Scout uniform. Keep it clean and wear it with pride. Now go forth, my little tadpole, and get to work on those badges. With diligence and determination, you'll be a possum in no time. <laughs> Pick up beer bottles.
Hello, what have we here? Why, you have the look of a promising recruit. Attention, and that's citizens. just the kind of person I'm searching imminent. for. Due to membership numbers falling below acceptable standards, I have been authorized by, well, Thank you myself, for your cooperation. to welcome you to the Pioneer Scouts. You have Someone's the nuking something. The and this area young. again. And recently, not so young men and women of America. You are hereby assigned the rank of tadpole. This is your official Pioneer Scout uniform. Keep it clean and wear it with pride. Now go forth, my little tadpole, and get to work on those badges. With diligence and determination, you'll be a possum in no time. <laughs> it's a little known fact that pine cones have sexes. Male pine cones shed pollen, while female pine cones produce seeds. Alright, hopefully this is somewhat easy. I don't think it's going to be. Ever upwards, that's the Pioneer Scout play. This robot's getting annoying already. Anything in here that can be helpful? Some more ammo, nice. Oh, aid. Boy, the wire. All right. It's not exactly the helpful. Can grow anywhere from five to eight feet in a year making it one of the world's fastest growing trees. So I'm sitting there shooting one of those scorch things, right? And I'm shooting it, but the gun's not cooperating. I was told that Fallout 76 is a little buggy. It did warn me. So just an FYI for those that are Uncle sitting there. Sam wants you to join the why is he freaking out? Well, that's why I'm freaking out, because I wasn't able to shoot the gun and fuckers coming out to me. Having taken a spill and fallen into 
a dark place. Uh. Where am I? Jack? Zip? Mr. Bailey? Can anybody hear me? I can hear you. That moment you're there. wishing that you didn't I, I turn on the audio recordings? Me. Hear it, stop it. Alright, we're gonna go scrap some stuff. Apparently, people really like nuking that area over there. I don't know why. I think we could sell the hatchet, and I think that would be a nice thing to sell. I definitely want to put razor grain so I don't actually accidentally consume it. I think I already consumed it. Oh, shit. Uh, let's put hollows that I'm not currently using in there. Tell me I can't put the hollows in there. Try to. I'm trying really hard to lower the amount of stuff I have here. Like, I'm trying to make it so that I can just go in and pick stuff up if I need to. Okay, we can't use this right now. I can't store that. I want to store it. town sell some stuff off So I can make. Probably can't make much. That's 40 damage, huh? Twenty-eight value. Yeah, if I just get a bunch of junk, I could just do it this way too.
white pistol. never gonna use it. This is how that is. Definitely would like to get more cells for that. Alright, this will just have to do for now. I'm trying to figure out what the nuclear mark means. I'm guessing it means it has rad protection, maybe? I don't know. and type for is what we're mostly going to be after. Screws and gears. We're going to hide out inside of here until this radiation storm goes away. It's a lovely thing. Sitting here, why am I getting radiation? What the fuck? Oh, that's why. I think it was worth it. Hmm. Decisions. If condition is better,
So it's going to make me come up here. It's going to make me talk to helpfulness, clean up this kitty corner's cabin. It's going to make me go do this. Looks like there's some kind of event going on over there. Oh man, it's gonna make me go over there. I, I'm already having a difficult enough time just walking in this area. As I don't get my ass handed to me too much, I'll do it. The problem is they don't suggest what to do starting off. They just kind of throw you in there and you just, they're like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? But uh, I'm probably going to do two games at once now, guys. I'm not just going to do Fallout 76. I'm going to be kind of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But the problem here is that Fallout 76 is it doesn't give you a clear direction of what to do when you're starting out. So you're starting off at the level 9. And you got these side quests, and they're either be too difficult, or you got a bad start, and, you know. It's one of those issues where Fallout 76 is designed more of you working together with other people. But if you don't have friends that play Fallout 76, like I do, which I don't, it makes it ten times more difficult to complete Fallout 76. Th that's how they designed Fallout 76. Uh, if you look at Dying Light, they designed it where you can still complete the campaign solo, uh, as solo, where it's not too difficult. You can have your friends play the campaign with you as an option. That's what they should have done with Fallout 76. But anyways, that's just how I feel about it. It's it's just very difficult to play as a single player. That's all I will physically say, from what I can tell. Um, coming from a new person's perspective. That's all, all I can really say regarding it. Hopefully this radiation storm's not all over the place. Damn, I forgot to get ammo. Shit. Well, I guess we're lone wolfing it now. <laughs> I don't want to go back into a loading screen. Hey, look, we're level 10 finally. Holy shit, how long did that take? Guys. Oh, I got a hard choice. I either choose Charisma here and get better prices where I can sell stuff for better price or I get strength. I'm gonna go with Charisma.
I have nothing for perspective yet, huh? All right, I don't feel like going back, so here we go. Walking through a Nicky Wonderland. Oh my goodness, holy flap. Okay, stay away from the yellow stuff, got it. Saw that radiation go through the roof. Okay, I thought it was a good carriage model. You sitting there? Stop shitting on uh, Fallout 76. It's got its ups, it's got its down. It's all physically safe. Like I said, the bare way they should have done it would have been to do it kind of like the way Dying Light 2 did it, where you have the option for people to join you on campaign. place reminds me of the glowing sea. From Fallout 4. Some kind of radio beacon right there. Really, just give me a fifty cal? Can't. Did. Not high enough level to equip it. Of course, I'm in a high level area. Great. So reassuring. Playing around in a Nick Winter Wonderland. Carried in his water. Great. This whole drinking purified water, water in general, is kind of annoying. I, I get why they put it in. They had to find a way to slow people down so they wouldn't build out control in the servers, but still, equally annoying. Okay, got scorch people inside there. That probably means there's more scorch people over here. Ah, uh, shit. At that point, it's just easier to let them hit you and then go over and grab it. As long as they don't do too much radiation. Uh, the issue I'm having is it's almost like a desyncing problem where the server, when I go to shoot, it's not shooting when I want it to shoot, basically. That 
the problem I'm encountering right now. I mean, I get it, the game's been old, it's been out for a while, but still, you know, they made it so that the game's online, where you can't physically play it if the servers ever go offline. That's the problem here. So, you know, at least with Fallout 4, you could play it offline if you didn't have internet. The point I'm making here is with Fallout 76, if you don't have internet, you can't play Fallout 76 because it's online servers related. That's where all the information is stored. I've already tried playing Fallout 76 offline. Physical says, it's, oh, I'm sorry, you got enough connected to the server and internet provider. I'm like, well, I'm glad I waited until it was like six bucks. <laughs> I laughed when they said, oh, you can have your own private server for a hundred bucks. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> I just looked at them like, what kind of crack are you smoking? I can get it if it's really, really, really hard. But you can't make me pay that much. Even if I was a, you know, Fallout person that supports Fallout. Just based on all the reviews I saw, I'm just like, mm -hmm. nah. Maybe I'm desperate and I my camp keeps getting nuked out of existence because of these things they put in that's called the nukes, and maybe that. But the customer, yeah. The targets are shredded again. No telling if it was the mongrels or the storm the other day. Some fool programmed me to be agitated unless there are always fresh targets up. I could really use your help with that. Kind of... Uh, uh -huh. Looks like there's a pathway here somewhere. I figure out how to get in here without getting killed. I am not going in there. I, I would rather go on the roof. Like, you're looking at a lot of ferals. Looking at me getting mauled if I go in there. Okay, this sounds like a good time. Let's figure out how the favorite weapons and how to use it. Oh, it's not gonna cost me eight caps to move camp. Great. I think this is gonna end badly. I'm gonna try to go around it. It doesn't say that I need to fix it. But anyway, sorry if you guys got annoyed with me complaining about what I'm liking, what I'm not liking about the game. Um, you just saw my perspective of things there. What are those? Firelarks? There's a pathway over that way. Supposedly. Trying to follow the map here without getting in too much trouble. Trying to avoid all this water, basically. All this toxic sludge. I want to follow this pathway so I don't get tangled up in this toxic sludge.
wasn't so bad. Still bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to become. Ah! That karma is a pain, huh? Ow! Stop it! Otherwise speaking, for me, playing Fallout 7-6, it's alright. I wish it was done a different way, but hey, gotta, you can't just sit there and go, oh, this is going to be easy. If they do something new, you got to learn from it. What the hell is this? Oh, we have a cult to this. Let's do this. You're not. You will be gladdened. Now to my final reward. I don't know. I don't want to really go in that wire. That's some bad shit there. Like it's instant doom. Just hoping there might be something on the bodies here. All right, let's get away from this hellhole. Basically, what that wire is is basically Barry acid. What happens when you lower the pH, pH of water? It turns into battery acid, basically. Pretty much. I played with toys in my chemistry class. there is a bridge. I was hoping there was a bridge because I really didn't want to go through all that toxic sludgy water. But yeah, regarding me, uh, eh, it's playable. It's just gonna be hard, that's all it means. Hey, it's more 4-4 four, four bullets, which is nice. Oh, 
probably can't use this armor yet. Goodness, people don't know how we know him. It's heavy. But it's like half my weight right there. We're gonna sacrifice all the junk we have. I can get junk from anywhere. Really do you want that steel though? I'd rather have more guns than, uh, than junk, I think. Why? Well, the more guns I have, the more stuff I can sell and stuff like that. If I do pick up junk here, it's probably going to be me. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up just like... typewriters and stuff like that. Shortening. Okay, give me the wire. I'll do the wire. It's food here. It's not great food, but it's food. Fifteen rads, yeah. Let's drop that shit real quick. Well, the food around here says dog shit. It's got so much rads in it. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the food in this area is like really rare. It's got like 15 rads, or you know, it's just not really suitable for bringing back, basically. Watch, it's not gonna have anything good in it. Not really.
Can't pick up anything new. Great. Well, it sounds like a good time to go back and depot anything that I'm not using, basically. 152 cap cents, not too bad. Alright, I just gotta figure out how to get downstairs here. Oh, there we go. Just staring me in the face, man. And we got some more scorched in here. Do them first. Just so uh, in case they wake the hell up, I don't have to worry about it. I think it's because we have other stuff in the aid menu here that's taking up a lot of room. If I get the magazine, I don't think it adds to your points. Hmm. We'll drop this. We haven't had a, found a good use for it yet. We have got to bump up the, the hold weight. You know what? I'm going to drop the still scrap. I can get more later. trying to figure out what's weighing me down. Dropping more stuff because I see more stuff that we need to grab. So, for instance, there's a desk fan over here. That's going to be screws and gears. Check in here. Screwdriver. Exactly what I need, not really. Seems like a good place to come back and scrap. I just don't realize how much crap I have on me right now. So. Got some food in there, it looks like. Oh, we got no one of those. That's helpful. Definitely have to come back here and 
scrap all this crap and figure out what I can keep, what I can't. I'm gonna teleport back out and try to empty my inventory. Make sure you guys hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry if the video is longer than expected, I didn't realize how long the video or recording was until I just looked. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.